Is it true what they say, this increasing number of electricians, that it's quicker to install a Roxtech multi-cable bonding and grounding transit in an enclosure than to install cable glands? We decided to do a time trial. The installation comparison. Roxtech versus cable glands. Electricians Peter Lowe and Lau C.K. of Draco Systems Private Limited in Singapore agreed to perform the installations in front of the camera. Before starting, they made way for 20 cables in the bottom of the enclosure, one opening for Roxtech, and 20 small holes for the cable glands. It took about 30 minutes to prepare the enclosure for Roxtech and about an hour to drill and punch the holes for the cable glands. Here are the parts required for a complete installation. Each cable gland consists of 11 components, which makes a total of 220 components, plus 20 screws, 20 ground lugs, and the earth cable roll. A Roxtech BG seal consists of a frame, a counter frame, a couple of adaptable BG sealing modules, including a conductive braid and two compression units, plus one screw and nine bolts. To check the difference, we did a pre-fight weigh-in. Cable glands, 4.08 kilos. Roxtech, 1.98 kilos. So, are you ready, Peter and Lau? Let's go. The first cable gland takes eight minutes to install. And the first row of six glands is ready after 38 minutes. The second row is completed after one hour and 17 minutes. Peter and Lau install and ground cables with glands almost daily, and they work efficiently together. The four large cables are done, so the electrician starts sealing the last four cables, which have to enter the waterproof electrical enclosure from the side wall due to the lack of space for holes and cables. They finish the installation of the 20 cables in 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 42 seconds. Okay, it's time for the Challenger, Roxtech, also known as the modern way of sealing, bonding, and grounding all kinds of armored and metal clad cables. Are you ready? Let's go! Peter and Lau have installed Roxtech BG before, but not as many times as glands. They installed the CF32 frame in 4 minutes and 24 seconds, and then Lau starts preparing the armored cables. The preparation of the armored or metal clad cables is the same for both sealing methods. Peter peels off layers from the modules to adapt them to the correct cable sizes. The reason for this parallel preparation work is that they want to route all cables at the same time. This can be done with Roxtech. It's possible to adjust cables later on, while glands must be fixed right away. After 28 minutes and 10 seconds, all cables are prepared. They now fill the opening with the cables and the sealing modules, half by half. There's enough space to let all cables enter from below. The modules fit the cables perfectly, and Peter and Lau can pre-compress regularly. The entire installation is finalized in 57 minutes. Peter and Lau, who normally install one cabinet per day, can thus save more than one hour on each cabinet. They say they prefer Roxtech. It's easier than glands, and we need fewer tools. We make the installation in half the time. 